Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about two interesting stories. The first being Chelsea's Brazilian winger, Willian, has apparently laid out the road to his move to Barcelona finally on a free in the summer because he hasn't signed a new contract with Chelsea there was no renewed contract even though it was being rumored for like you know a few months ago whatever it never happened and now apparently he's got the move to Barcelona but we'll have to see because there was also a rumor about Juventus a while ago but we're going to talk about that Barca move also that Christian Pulisic problem at Chelsea why is he not playing in the big games under Frank Lampard the big money signing the Hazard replacement in adverted commas. And I'm going to pose the question to you. Is Frank Lampard actually handling the whole situation incredibly well? Regardless to the fact that Christian Pulisic himself might have made some comments, you know, saying he's frustrated. We'll get into that and we'll talk about that. But before we do get into today's stories, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to this channel because Football Therapy uploads videos every single darn day and I want you lot to keep up with the content so please do subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and you know what, do us a favour and like this video. Alright then, Willian, the man's in his 30s now, he's been at Chelsea for a long long time, he divides opinion on the internet but generally people who go and watch the games always sing his name, the Will I Am song. One thing that's not up for dispute is stuff from the metrics, the statistics. Willian definitely underperforms when it comes to goals and assists. Certainly in the latter part of his career, he never really scored more than I think like seven league goals or something like that. And he can be a visually frustrating player on the ball sometimes when he perhaps doesn't make the pass or maybe dribbles down an alley or hits the first man on a corner routine that he's uh, cultivated over the last couple of seasons, which is very frustrating. But all the Willian haters out there, they need to sort of have a lucid moment, take a look at the situation and see what the truth is about Willian. The positive side of his metrics is he is an incredibly creative player in terms of key passes, in terms of football intelligence, and he's a very, very hard worker. Now think about it for just a second. Every single manager, every, single manager Willian has played under at Chelsea have always played him. Often started him over Pedro and anyone else who was available at the time. We're talking Jose Mourinho, we're talking Goose Hiddink, we are talking Antonio Conte, we are talking Maurizio Sarri, we are talking Frank Lampard, and anyone else. They all play Willian, they all fancy Willian, they see him in training, they like what he offers. Regardless to your allegiance to any one of those coaches as a football fan or a Chelsea fan, they all fancied Willian and preferenced them in their starting lineup. Now everyone's a football manager as a football fan, aren't they? But the truth is, they're not a football manager. And all these football managers all choose to play Willian. So there's gotta be something there, right? Now I'm not a blind faith Willian believer fan or whatever myself. I do think his time is done at Chelsea and I absolutely think he's been underperforming in a lot of offensive metrics. Even though, as a bit of a stats nerd myself, I know how valuable he is as a player in the other parts of the game. But he is the wrong side of 30. He's obviously run out of contract. I don't think anyone's going to cry for him. Even the people who do sing his name and love Willian, I don't think any of them are calling for him to sign a new contract. Especially when the rumoured transfer is abroad and you won't see him pop up at a local rival team. Chelsea's number 10 has long been linked with Barcelona. The Catalan club was rumoured to be making crazy bids in for Willian over the last couple of years of 40, 50, 60, 70 million pounds or euros. All at the time seemed ridiculous when he was underperforming or certainly frustrating in certain parts of the pitch. Chelsea fans were seeing these numbers rumoured and being like, what the hell are we doing? Why aren't we selling Willian? And now it looks like Chelsea are going to lose him on a free. Personally, I'm not sure he ever wanted to go. I think he does like Chelsea. He likes living in London. He's obviously got his family and his two girls around London and I think he does enjoy playing for the club and I genuinely think there's a big affection for Chelsea. He probably wanted a new contract at Chelsea, but I imagine Chelsea were unwilling to give him that and as opposed to selling him to Barca for loads of money, Chelsea might have actually said to him, look, what do you want to do? 
They probably offered him the opportunity to go on a free where Willian would make more money and I'd get to stay at Chelsea a bit longer with his family. This is all speculation of course, but free transfers usually mean big bucks for the players themselves. The Barcelona link is absolutely real and they have wanted the player for a while. They've done well recently with slightly older Brazilians and you'd think that William would probably fit the bill really well and probably do really well in La Liga. For the player himself it would make a lot of sense, he could play for two, three years there in the first team absolutely and you know play with, alongside Lionel Messi for a season or two, however long Messi's Therefore, Willian's therefore, Antoine Griezmann, Frankie De Jong, the whole, you know, the whole gang basically. It's funny because the alternative story is that he goes to Juventus on a free transfer. Now, to me, Juventus are the king of free transfers. Just look at Adrian Rabiel, you know, um, Aaron Ramsey, and there's a bunch of other people as well. So it to me, it was just seemed textbook that they would sign Willian on a free. I think they got Emre Chan on a free as well. Anyway, a bunch of people. And it's funny because he'd be playing with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So it is very much leaving Chelsea to go to either play with Ronaldo or Messi. And obviously, he's already got that relationship with Maurizio Sarri at Juventus. But... Personally, I could see him going to the Catalan club, off to Barcelona, and playing there for two, three years, even if he's only a starter for, say, the first year. It's lovely in Barcelona, right? Makes sense. As I said, Chelsea fans won't necessarily cry for him, but I think all Chelsea fans will be thankful for his time at the club. Perhaps, maybe not some trolls online, but generally, people should be thankful for what he's delivered. And, um, yeah, Chelsea's future looks bright in terms of wingers. They've got, you know, Pulisic... They've got uh, hudson Adoy, Mason Mount, maybe someone else if Pedro leaves as well. And that gives me an opportunity to segue comfortably over to the next story, Christian Pulisic. Yep, one of the aforementioned wingers I just spoke about, Christian Pulisic, the big money signing, the rumoured hazard replacement, which is not true, it's just... Hazard got sold, he got bought, he's not a direct replacement for what Eden Hazard offered Chelsea. Still big money, not overpriced by any means I think in terms of what he is as a player, his experience, his age, his marketability, etc. It's about right that fee. Now Christian Pulisic's been playing football for a long time, people have been watching and scouting him for a long time. He went to Dortmund when he was about 15, he broke into the first team at 16, he's played Champions League, he's played loads of top flight football. Everyone's seen him on the ball, what he can do. He is a talented player and he's a very hard worker that gets his head down. But Frank Lampard isn't playing him. <laughs> now I wanna highlight a few facts about this. He did play very well in preseason. We know he's a good player, but people can't critique Lampard because he does watch him in training and he's a new player with a big price tag on his head. Is there a chance like a manager like Frank Lampard is actually being very smart here? You know, big price tags can mean a lot of negative press and if they don't, perform to the optimum level straight away, they can get criticised. Just across London, Arsenal have spent, what, 72 million on Pepe and he hasn't really done anything yet except a sort of charitable penalty given to him. I don't even think the penalty was that good, but he scored it. Lampard doesn't need to use Pulisic right now and he's still embedding in. Now, I know Christian came out and spoke to NBC, I think it was, and said, yeah, of course I'm frustrated, I want to play. To be honest, I think that's instinctive. He's obligated almost to say that. I think he said also he understands why he's not playing, but he probably imagined he'll slot straight in. If you think about it, this almost goes back to the Willian and Pedro thing. This is probably both their swan song. They're very experienced players. Frank Lampard's just touched down in SW6 and he's utilizing these players with their experience and their, let's be honest, technical ability. And he's like, look, I've just got to London. I need your experience to settle me in. And this is your swan song. You guys are going. You've been great servants to the club. So play some football. Ah, but what about Mason Mount? He's just got here. He's not experienced. And he's actually playing him on the left wing sometimes. Well, the fact is with that, Mason Mount's been Chelsea's probably best player. Certainly on sites like who scored he's the highest ranked and he has been incredibly good on the left wing as well as well as the attacking midfield area but the thing is with mason mount he's played with frank lampard for over a year he knows exactly how the coach wants to play and again in the earlier stages of frank lampard's chelsea tenure he needs as much help as he can to make things work. Utilising the experience of the senior players just before they leave Chelsea and utilising the player that knows how he wants to play. And there's obviously this other kid, Christian Pulisic, who's just touched down this country, new culture, new league, new team. Just because he's not throwing him in straight away, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. So like I said, I make the example of Nicola Pepe and people are starting to criticise him with his price tag. Pulisic's a hard worker and a good professional and a talented kid. His time will come at Chelsea. Lampard has been questioned about Pulisic a couple of times and he swats it away and says, yeah, of course he's part of my plans. 
he knows he's a talented player, but maybe he just needs to do better in training, integrate more. The fact of the matter is, he's a huge player for Chelsea. Willian and Pedro will be going. He will have a part to play in this Chelsea squad. He will have plenty of time to prove himself and demonstrate his great ability. And we know he's got great ability. Chelsea have scouted him for a long time. Loads of clubs wanted him. He will be utilised in this Chelsea squad. But if you look at all the tangible facts objectively about Frank Lampard, Chelsea and the players and the wingers at the moment, it's not a massive surprise that he's not playing him. Pulisic did obviously get played in the cup and did look like he was struggling, low on confidence, which is fine. Frank would probably take him out of the team, put him in, take him out, wait till he has a good performance, build him up from there. It's standard football manager stuff, guys. So no need to worry, no mega news story there, although they will always be printed, but he will eventually be sort of conditioned to the football more. The aging wingers will go through the exit door and he will be dropped into the team. Anyway, what do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on both new story, Willian and the Pulisic problem. Get down in the comments below, express your thoughts and opinions, or just comment anything you like about football and Chelsea. If you have enjoyed the content, remember to like the video, guys. And I want to remind you lot to subscribe to the other channel that I do called Yan Plays, where I do FIFA 20 videos and eventually just non-football videos. Videos? Video game videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you go and subscribe to Yan Plays. Oh yeah, another plug. You can also join the Football Therapy Discord now, which is an ongoing conversation with myself and all of you guys about football, Chelsea, da 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 da. You can join the Football Therapy Discord by clicking the Patreon link in the description or in the channel header. Follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on both Instagram and Twitter. Right, I think that's probably all the plugs. I'm out, guys. You enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I laugh me, baby.